Good morning, modern statters. You ready for school? Yeah. Oh, Figaro wants to say bye before you go to school. Figaro. Nope. Your leash ran out there, Tanner. Oh, don't you just feel like all your animals love you this morning? Yeah. Have a good day at school. It's like I want the cat. <laughs> there she goes. You ready to go in? You look cold. Let's go. Come on. You cold? They're both like, let me in, let me in. It's six degrees out this morning and snowing. It's supposed to warm up. And I hope we don't get too much snow out of this storm. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, want some veggies? Some cucumbers, some carrots. I think you'll enjoy that. We had some friends over last night and they brought over some spicy food. We're not spicy food people. It tasted good, it was hot. But hot food to me is just like firewood. It warms you twice. It warms you the day you eat it, and it warms you the next day, if you know what I mean. Oh, I don't know how people do hot, spicy food all the time, guys. Oh. You girls ready to come out this morning? Y'all. There you go. Well, are you pregnant? Sometimes it looks like you're pregnant. Hopefully you're showing. There we go. Bust it up a little bit, and then we'll dump it out and get him some fresh water. Get the chicken some chaff hay. Smells so sweet. Break it up a little bit. There we go. We made some egg sandwiches for breakfast yesterday morning. We fried up the eggs. Those yolks were so orange. I'm assuming it's gonna be because we're giving the girls the chaff head. We were, me and Gina were both like, wow, look how orange those yolks are. Feeding the girls the chaff head seems to be making a big difference. We got four eggs this morning. Holy moly, guys. Wow. You girls are doing awesome. Thank you, ladies. I can't wait to see how many eggs we collect this afternoon, guys. <laughs> Yesterday we got eight in the afternoon, so if we get that many again today, that's 12. Wow, it's a lot of eggs for this time of the year. You coming, Pluto? <laughs> Come on. I want to start building another project today. But first, I'm going to bring some firewood in. I want to get the basement nice and warm before we start working outside. Let me do that, and we'll be right back. All right, let's get this fire going. Get it nice and warm in here. There we go. I think that way it's up. Uh, 
winter still has its grip on us, but it's time to get building some outdoor projects. I want to build a mobile pig shelter, and I think I found the right running gear. So we're going to build it. I got one more box in the house. We'll put it together. And then we got to figure out how we're going to design it and how we're going to build the structure on top of this running gear. So let's get this all out. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen any directions yet. We got a parts list. I guess that's, I think this is the bag that has the hole in it. I want to keep all my small parts and pieces over here. Not sure what that is yet. This, uh, my guess, is the front axle. I like how it's greasable. We have grease fitting there, there, and each tire's bushing has it. Nice. All right, so in the second box, we got the rear axle, the back tires for the rear, the center shaft to connect the two axles, and then the tongue. So it looks like I found the directions right here. Got the bolts and nuts opened up. I think there's only three different sizes that we're gonna need for wrenches and sockets. I know we're gonna need a pair of pliers right here. Wrenches. Gonna need a half inch, nine sixteenths, and three quarter inch wrench. Gonna need a socket set. <clears throat> What is it with cats and boxes? They seem to love them, no matter what size or shape they are. There we go. All right, I'm thinking let's start putting together the front axle. It's gonna be a little bit more work here to do. It's a steer axle. Pop it. The directions are showing it flop, so I just got to, in my head, know that I'm working upside down from this. <laughs> this is going to be what stairs the front wheels right here. And so this is going to be like the alignment part of the vehicle. We want to get these as straight as possible so we don't wear the tires and we're not pushing and pulling. I think right there is pretty darn close. Let's check out this size. Side. Oh, so if I want to be there, here. Uh, it's pretty straight, guys. I'm trying to look at my axle, seeing how straight it is, how straight that one is and how straight this tongue is. Seem pretty good right there. We can make better adjustments later on, but I think this is a good place to start.
All these nuts are a locking nut. Can you see right there that little dot? It's a crimp. So you can't just free spin these on. They're got a crimp so it's tight. So they, while it's swiveling, these won't loosen up and back off. So every bolt that looks like it needs it has that. Let's see. Can you see it better here? Right here. See that? Yeah, right there. Let's get this bottom one tightened up. I don't think we can over tighten it. There we go. It's stiff, but I think after a while we'll be able to move it, especially once the tongue is on. Yeah, that's good can freely move the nut and bolt so once we have everything together that'll be nice there we go this trail is rated for 2200 pounds so it's it's rated pretty good I want to find the longest yeah so you can go different lengths I'm gonna go with the longest length Make sure I get all the right nuts and bolts. Get everything tightened up. Nice. On this end, this end slid in and lined up where we want it, right there. There we go. Haha, <laughs> I like it. washers and then our cotter pins. Boom. Get in here with my wire cutters. Perfect. Oh it's snowing again guys. We can't catch a break. Ah. You know what? Might as well just flip it over right now. There we go. I like that. You want to go in Figaro catching snowflakes? Easier to get the other axle on too at the same time. Aha, I like it. Aha, last one. loosen this bolt up so we can get the tongue in. Well, oh, that was loose. That was easy. Get the bolt lined up. Haha. <laughs> like it. Make 
it a little bit tighter. I really like how they got these stops welded on so you can't over stare because you're going to hit. Boom. Boom. The tire won't hit there. Same thing on the other side. You're going to stop. Boom. I like that. Some good engineering there, guys. The front wheels look pretty straight. That tongue looks straight. So I think we're going to have a good alignment on the front tie rods. I think that's going to be a good alignment for the tie rods. What I mean by good alignment on the tie rods is these front tires are adjustable because they steer. So in this axle, when this tongue is straight, we want our wheels straight like they are. Let's see if I can sit in the middle and demonstrate. Yeah. So these wheels are pretty straight with this being straight. If one was going this way and one was going this way, or if they were both going this way when we were straight, or they were both going in, or one was going in, one was going out, you'd end up tearing up the tires. Maybe not so much around like your farm where it's dirt, but on a vehicle, if your tires aren't going straight together, they are this way or that way, they end up wearing and that's when you need to replace your tires. Same thing with this wagon. You might not wear the tires that bad, but it's gonna be a lot harder to pull it and it won't go as straight and nice and easy. Guys, what's up with all this snow? I think we've had enough this year. <sighs> so many projects I need to do outside and I can't do them yet. That's why I said, you know what? We're building the wagon and we're gonna stop building the pig shelter. There's so many more things I wanna get done outside and I haven't had a chance yet this winter. Oh, one more thing we need to do. Oh, I can't believe how much snow we're already getting. And all the tools are getting covered. Directions, it's gonna be all wet. Good thing I took a picture of them. So we need to install these brackets right here. One, two, three, four, which are these guys. Let's see, nope, that's for the other side. That's the one we want right there. Perfect. Get this one installed. I want to get that over as much as I can. I'm going to get the last two on the back and I'll be right back. So these brackets are going to accept how we're going to put our decking on. I'm going to have to run out and get the lumber so we can build the main braces and then the deck. That'll have to be tomorrow. As far as we're gonna be able to work on this project today. What's that? I said it's going down by itself unless you're going. Oh, let's go over to that there first. Okay. And we'll take the sled down. Yeah. I think we'll get down to the goat barn this way. I did yesterday. Yeah. Hey, you're gonna be in front, you get the camera. Good <laughs> ah! ah! here, baby. Yeah, we did. Ooh. We made it to the coffin. We'll leave this here for now. What are you doing, Buttercup? We didn't go as far as I did yesterday. Nope. I'll check on you. See if you got food. Oh, you girls ate all your hay. All right, I'll get you more. I'll get you more. Go ahead, back up. There you go. I should have brought treats, I know, I keep forgetting. 
We were too excited to go sledding. That sun feels good. Yeah. All right, let's go get some, let's go do some more sledding before we collect eggs. Yeah. All right, guys, right here where we're sledding down the snowbank from plowing the driveway. And right here, I think we keep getting air. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Oh my god, went in the goat bar. Yeah, I would have been in there. Oh. <laughs> Woo, that was fun. Yeah. yeah, if you didn't put the, if you didn't put your hands out, I would have been in the goat we bar. The goat bar. <laughs> Look at the goat bar. Look at the goat If I didn't put my hands out to stop us, I think we would have went right up and into the goat pen. You get going pretty fast right now, huh? Yeah. Especially since it's so, like it's so steep and then there's air. Yeah, are you ready to get some eggs? Yeah. I guess since my helper's got to do homework, I'll peel the carrots. Something fun to do is to add a little splash of maple syrup to your carrots when you're cooking them. You should try it sometime. Oh guys, you gotta see these views. Look at that sky, that's beautiful. Yep, that's how high the snow is up. It needs to melt. Oh, you would think these two are best buds. We got some carrots. And some chicken.
time to heal it. See you fight with what you told, and hold on to your scars and wounds and pass the void. And I said, Who? I am so excited about this new trailer. The project we're gonna build on it, it's just gonna change the way we're gonna be farming here at our homestead from here on out. We're gonna be able to do, build so many different projects if we want to on these different style trailers. And they really don't cost that much money. I was surprised. They were almost the same price as what it cost me to buy the pop-up camper that we built New York City on and then after that I had to tear apart the old pop-up camper and get rid of everything because it had all been mouse chewed up and so it saved me a lot of time and aggravation not having to tear apart an old camper but it's really gonna benefit the homestead and how we can move our pigs around here whether or not we can accomplish our dreams all starts in our head whether we think we can or we think we can't determines our outcome so guys thanks for coming along on our journey with us you are a true blessing to our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom